please subscribe before you check out of this video. Please like, share, subscribe. We are a family of eight. And again, my name is Glacelle. Thank you for joining us on our video today. And we, I wanted to show you my pantry. Ultimately, I am trying to gather my thoughts lately. The words escape me. But I'm going to start from the bottom of the top. Don't mind that. That's just we have to replace the flooring. The flooring hasn't been replaced. These are my tin foils, especially when we're having, when I'm cooking brisket, I'll you tend to use the longer ones um, since it's a heavy duty one. These I use for parties or, you know, get togethers. These are some birthday supplies, some extra napkins, some foil. Here's our tray. This is the tray that I use for when, um, actually, when we, when someone's sick or we're going to have snacks upstairs, I will use this. I got this from a thrift store. And most of the items I got at the thrift store, I got my kitchen a crock pot from a thrift store for like $10. Those are my husband's drinks. It's taken him forever to drink those things. Anyways, um, here's my jasmine rice. I would love to have a container for jasmine rice. Here's just sugar, uh, sugar and flour. We have some plastic forks. We're almost out of them. Here's just a pot that I have here. Random stuff. I need to put this up, but this is just random. My kids that put it there when they were probably trying to go out to the garage. And we have Quaker oats, the kids love that stuff, brown sugar, powdered sugar, cereal. So that is that. Some more foil in the back. Um, here are my more eye level items, which are like our canned goods. We have tomato soup, chicken soup. I have veggies, and it's more for me to know where everything is at, but I have a lot of veggies here, some chickpeas. I was going to be making a um, shawarma, chicken shawarma dish, where you roast the chickpeas in the oven. It sounds really delicious, so I bought some ingredients to make that. And then corn was on sale at Walmart. I think it was like 50 cents. Cream of celery, coconut milk, love coconut milk. And this is what I use a lot for like chili, if I'm making homemade chili. Just, I have a lot of soup, um, especially canned soup because I had my impacted wisdom teeth removed and I wanted something easy, grab and go. But I'm, I'm doing better. I still have some issues, but it's nice to have some soup on, on, on stock. Cream of chicken, love cream of chicken. Um, it's great if you've ever, if you've never tried it in Spanish rice, I would suggest if you like a creamy rice or a, um, it just brings a whole nother level to Spanish rice if you've ever tried it. Definitely recommend it. Here is our Spam, I'm sorry, our, our spinach. I like eating it with Spam and tomato paste. There's some tomato paste and let's see whole jalapenos love eating that stuff with chicken we have beef raviolis my kids love beef ravioli so i'm gonna put that right there and then we have my husband likes this potted meat i don't like potted meat like that but he likes potted meat with like bread and crackers we have tuna and more and some more creams uh cream of mushroom here Evaporated milk, this is great in if you're going to be using it in dishes that require, uh, say for example, macaroni and cheese. This is great in macaroni and cheese. If you've never had it, please try it. And here's some more cans. Um, black beans, I like putting black beans in our, uh, black beans in our chili. So that's really nice. We also have here enchilada sauce if in mexican dishes i like to use that for chicharrones so i i worked at not worked but i volunteered at a church 
and oh man they made this dish with um it was like chicharrones jalapenos tomatoes and some onions and they put the sauce in there and i was like oh man that just tastes so good they're like yeah it's just like your the cheap hill country enchilada sauce on top of all that and i was like oh man it's so good and you eat it with eggs or put it in a taco i'm telling you thumbs up it's delicious uh, we have Libby's Luncheon Loaf. This is a replacement in Spam. Um, it was actually a little bit cheaper, but I will tell you, I know Libby's, I've seen it in the Philippines, um, but I still prefer the the actual Spam. I don't have any because I think we've eaten all of the remaining Spam. So I had we had one of these yesterday. I wasn't too into it like I am with the other dishes, so... It's, nonetheless, it's it's okay, it's okay. But I prefer the actual Spam or the opera in a Spam. I just didn't care for the luncheon loaf. Um, let's see here, but it is softer. Oh, I will say it is softer. Um, just different variations, pretty much the same stuff. Tuna, Chef Bourdie, soup. We got ranch style beans back there. I have red beans, I believe, oh no, black beans, so. So that's that. We also have some noodles. I have different types of pasta. Um, rotini. I have spaghetti. I have elbow macaroni. I have lasagna noodles. So that's back there. I also have a spaghetti sauce. So I'm in, when I'm in the grocery store, I'll just buy like these in place of getting these jars. And they do just, you know, they do just the the same if not sometimes they even taste better than some of those other ones so don't overlook the ones in the cans are cheaper and definitely taste really nice too so I will give a thumbs up to that we have our drink area here chocolate milk we have strawberry milk by Nesquik here I have powdered lemon tea by Lipton that's the iced tea lemon there we also have Kool-Aid and pinto beans. This is the 12 pound. I like having a big bag of beans because we go through beans weekly. I try to make about a pound a week, pound to two pounds a week. So that's, that's that. I also have this chicken and broccoli. These are just quick size. These are just more drinks. So this is kind of out of the, out of the ordinary. Let me put that over there. Anyways. So drinks, a lot of soups. In my little corner, this is a mismatch of different types of noodles. We have like bow tie noodles in there. I have, um, this is refried beans. So some of my kids, when they're putting away the groceries, they kind of just put it where they think. Um, not always exactly where I like it to be, but they just put it where they can think they can put it, find a spot. So it would be nice if I could label everything, but I think that we'll have to that will be later. I will have to create some labels and maybe attach it to the, here to the metal piece, excuse me, to the metal piece. So like a grocery store, everything's labeled and easy to find. Um, but these are some refried beans. If I don't make my beans, I like using this stuff. It's nice to have on hand in the event that I'm exhausted or whatever the case is, just convenience. These are a nice alternative. I prefer to get these in the, 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 this little pouch versus getting them in a can they just taste better but these these are good so suggest if if, if you like bean and cheese or just refried beans in general we have different types of ramen so these are quick ramen um different types of ramen for convenience we also have this is one of my favorite too which is dc dot um Flavor, I can't really show it here, but I've had it in my previous hauls, grocery hauls. I'm hoping I can go to the 99 cent store, so we'll see. I probably will try to post that video today if we go. And Lipton tea. Love Lipton tea. I get the big bags of Lipton tea. We go through tea a lot. Sweet tea. So we like sweet iced tea. I know people in the UK and other places, they may drink hot tea, but we like iced tea here in the States. I like getting these noodles. These are the bean thread. 
I believe. Yeah, bean thread. I'm looking at this area right here. It says bean thread right underneath the uh, vermicelli. We have different snacks. Oops, different snacks. I have different sauces back there. Snacks. So we have Nature Valley, some jalapeno chips. We have some apricots, some Ritz crackers, dog food. We have our dog food down here. I'll just show you that's our dog food down there. Um, I also have these. These are the strawberry yogurt. I got these at Costco. My kids love them, and they were on sale too. So I got two bags. They were they are delicious. We eat those um, very frequently in this house. So, it, but you know how Costco is. It's like sometimes you see it for a while and then it won't be there. So, anyways, um, more drinking stuff. But I have some husk right there for tamales. Hershey syrup. We have pink lemonade. I have these. This is a rice specifically I use for making Spanish rice. Um, so I have that on hand. And those are just some potatoes. I have potatoes and some grapefruit right here. I have this empty. I'm probably going to be putting this in my car in the van because in my van, I'm taking out stuff like blankets and things like that. But we'll be putting. I need to have, um, I had a kind of like emergency container, like things that the, or things that we utilize often, like blankets and a medical kit, things like that you would have in your vehicle. I need to put it, put one in the car. So I took it out when I was cleaning, but I need to restock my vehicle. Um, just more nudists like Fideo and Mongo. I have different, I know I have. I have these little baskets that you see like in the corners, like that one up there and this one right here. Just a hodgepodge of different stuff. I have some honey made graham crackers. Um, I have jalapenos. We have some cane. This is a sweet vinegar. So sweet vinegar, you could utilize that for like coleslaw. I have soy sauce, just different syrups. I also have the cooking the red wine um but soy sauce different things oyster sauce sweet sauce and this is like my favorite if you like hot chili stuff or if you like going to the Chinese restaurant and they have that hot chili definitely recommend trying that out so that's really good there and we're gonna move on to this section so this is this is stuff I got from the 99 cent, yeah, 99 cent store. It's lasagna, homemade hamburger helper, as you would call it. This is some, someone gave us, they went to the food bank, they had some extra, so they, they're giving us this macaroni and cheese, but I heard it's not that great, so maybe that's why they gave it to us. I haven't, I haven't tried it yet. Uh, it's classic spaghetti classic. I like that. You could just add a can of tomato paste, and that's what makes it tangy, um, but it's, I like it. it it fills the void if you're in the mood for some quick, quick food for lunch. When I'm at home or I'm working from home, I like to eat that for myself because that won't feed, of course, an entire family. It's pretty small. And then we have more lasagna, but you know what? For this being the 99 cents uh, store, I actually prefer these compared to the hamburger helper. Actually, I feel like these taste a little bit better, more palatable, um, but I typically make my own hamburger helper. But in the meantime, or in between, if I want something and I'm just like, I'm not sure what to make, I will make this. We eat a lot of crispy tacos. We have a lot of variations of tacos. My husband doesn't really like the other ones I'm about to show you, so we'll get to it. Traditional crispy tacos right there. These are my kids' favorite. I really like these. These are the old El Paso Takis taco shells. I've only found this at Walmart. I do not find it in my H-E-B grocery store. In fact, I will mention when I go to the grocery store, especially H-E-B, they don't have taco shells. They have tostitas or the flat chalupa ones, which is the flat corn. So instead of being round like this, they're just flat. And that's okay, but definitely love these. If you like Takis, I don't really like Takis, like the chips per se, but I like these. These are good. 
So if you like spicy chips, things like that, crispy, it's very nice. Definitely love those. Um, also, there is this one that I got. I like trying different ones. It's the Hot Taco Shells Seasoned Flavor. Eh, it's okay. Would I buy it again? If it wasn't on, if it's not on sale, I probably wouldn't. It wasn't, didn't really taste very distinctive, I would say. At least I didn't think so, but maybe if you try, you'd have to try it yourself, but I definitely like these. So we have three of these because we go through those. And those are like quick meals. We have gumbo. This is the gumbo. My husband loves, we love gumbo. We do like... We do, do love Creole, we do love um, Louisiana, you know, the um, Arcadiana, gumbo, you know, anything that has to do with Creole cuisine, oh, we love it. We love the food, so if you know how to make it, please share some good recipes. I would love to try it. Maybe even try to post it on, on this YouTube channel, we'll see. So, beefy taco, again, that's just, just another, when I'm working, my husband sometimes will make dinner, and of course he's looking for something easy to make, so he'll go for like these items, you know, these boxed items, and that's okay. I just appreciate the help um, when we're making dinner for the kids. So, bacon ranch, my husband liked this, so I was kind of like, eh. The family actually like that, so if if you're looking for, and you can eat this cold, uh, but this is just something if you're looking for variation in your, your meal preparation, um, you may want to check that out. He he really liked those. I, was, I thought it was okay, but I wouldn't, it wouldn't be my first choice. Um, different seasonings, I have different seasonings for different things. We have onion powder, ranch powder packets back there. These are different cake mixes. I'm going to be trying, I love pineapple cake. That's one of my favorites. We also have, yeah, pineapple supreme. I got the Dolly Martin one too. This is Southern style coconut. Uh, we also have, let's see here, buttercream. I'm gonna be making some cake. We have different spreads here, cream cheese, frosting. We have things for salad, cheese and garlic, seasoned croutons, chicken and broccoli. We eat a lot of pickles in this house. This is some bread, some different packets of soup and seasonings as well. And this is just different variations of like hot sauce, Kung Pao, stir fry, that's by Panda Express, different hot sauces back there. This is an eye area we have for our raspas, pickles, more pasta, all, um, what do you call it? Canola oil. And what is this? I think this is for my daughter. Oh yeah, protein powder. That's what she wanted because she's an ROTC. I don't really drink any of that stuff. So we got different seasonings. I have menudo mix. Tomato bouillon, chicken bouillon, regular chicken bouillon, and back there I have like more, more seasonings. Camino, um, season it all, salt, garlic powder, onion powder. Those are the bigger versions of that. So I have that up here, and um, also I had. Oh, I almost. Okay, got to be careful. I have spaghetti. I also have a big box of elbow macaroni. This is what I've gotten from Sam's Club. And it's cheaper compared to me buying it at a grocery store in individual packs. So like this one has, I think six of them. Yeah, six spaghetti noodles. And these were only, it was like five something. And you can see there's six packs of it. Six packs of one pound bags. So six pounds of spaghetti there for five something. That's definitely a lot cheaper than buying them individually from your grocery store. So food for thought, as they say. Um, let me pan over to this area. So this is my replaced washer and dryer. 
I gave my washer and dryer to my in-laws and they were happy to get it because hers was like, I think over 20 something years old, maybe 30 years. And they were happy to take ours on. So anyways, we were, we were happy they were able to take those from us. And I have these, the Maytag. These are Maytag. They're okay. <laughs> they're, they do the job. They're great in some fashion. But what I will say is that I don't like the computer, this computer stuff. I don't like that because I feel it's just something else to break. If the, the computer board goes out, then I have to go back to where, I mean, may tag and say, hey, how much does it cost to replace this? And this might be $200, you know, and versus the old fashioned, you had to turn the dial or, you know, just press start, pop, push in, press start, you know, and it, it did itself. So I do miss the old fashioned. I just don't like electronic. I just feel like, of course, these newer companies, these companies are just trying to find ways for you to make money because you know, they know like the typical, I have stuff in there I have to wash. But anyways, um, so one thing is I don't really like the normal regular setting. I always feel like it becomes unbalanced on the normal and regular setting. I've had these probably six months or even longer now. Mm -hmm. Since November, was it November I got these? So I've had these for a little bit now. I just don't like the normal regular setting. I tell the kids stray away from the normal regular because I feel like it, it's unbalanced and when it becomes unbalanced, it stops, right? Because the clothes aren't, the clothes aren't gonna wash regularly and they get all knotted up. I have no idea. Um, but that, so we usually do like heavy duty. We do all the other ones, but Normal, regular, I don't know. I try to stay away because it'll stop mid cycle. I mean, the middle, and then you thought your clothes were washed, and you come downstairs, and you're like, dude, they're still wet. It's because it turned off because it was unbalanced. So, anyways, um, I know I'm showing you my dirty clothes, but here is the agitator. Of course, front loaders don't have an agitator, but this one has an agitator, and this is like the largest the Maytag makes because we're a large family, so we needed the biggest washer that they have available. So that is, that is that, that's, that's that. And yeah, so I just have my, my pads here. I use cloth pads. I know my, my pantry is not very organized, but I'm, I'm showing you the true state in which it is. It's just, it gets chaotic in here sometimes. Um, you know, it's a utility room slash pantry. This is what it is. So I have my, my mom's dog in here with me. I have my area where I have like socks and clothes that need to get put away. A lot of laundry detergent, fabric sheets, kitchen towels that I go to. Again, it gets crazy in here because, you know, sometimes we're coming through the garage and it, it gets it gets a little chaotic. And I have my aprons here, dog leashes, things like that. Right, Shiny? Yep. So that is that, guys. I hope you enjoyed my video. If you have any questions, if I didn't go over something, I know I went through this pretty quick here. Because, oh. Well, anyways. Yeah, I went through everything pretty quick. If you have questions or curious, please feel free to ask. I am here. Um, I will try to respond. I am not always, not everybody comments. I know that, but please like, subscribe. That would help our channel out. And watch my other videos. You know, we do grocery hauls, shopping hauls. I love thrifting. If you love thrifting, sis, I am with you. I love thrifting. We are thrifters here and I don't typically like to buy stuff new um, if we can get away with it because I mean like geez I got six kids. I mean money doesn't grow on trees as they say. So nonetheless 
we tried to be frugal with our money. And anyways, till next time. And till next time, please take care of yourself and each other. And we'll talk to you later. Ciao.